Because we had a soggy start to the weekend and overcast skies, temperatures only reached a high of 73 degrees here in Lafayette, 72 up in Chalmers. Taking a look at our satellite and radar, most of the rain is slowly pushing off to its east, and we're actually staying dry across our area. And I'm expecting to stay dry for at least the rest of the evening, and clouds should break up a little bit as well. Showing this with our future cast, we'll start at midnight tonight. Not noticing any rain at all, and we'll stay, I would say, relatively dry throughout the entire evening. But once we get to 4 o'clock in the morning, that's when I'm expecting to see some fog to develop in our area. So once again, if you have, air, if you have to travel anywhere, you might want to take caution because we are going to be dealing with fog in the morning. Also, there's going to be more rain chances in our forecast, unfortunately, and a warm up coming up for the start of the work week. Right now in downtown Lafayette, we're actually staying dry, 68 degrees, partly cloudy skies, and winds are also staying calm. We're going to fall into the mid 60s for our lows tonight, 64 for Delphi and Monticello, also up in Winnemac, 66 in Crawfordsville, 65 here in Lafayette area. So once again, a low of 65 degrees. We're going to be dealing with mostly cloudy skies and also patchy fog for the early morning hours. Winds coming from the south at 0 to 5 miles per hour. Tomorrow we're going to start off a little bit cooler. 66 degrees at 8 in the morning with mostly cloudy skies. 75 by noon with partly cloudy skies. And then we'll eventually reach a high of 84 degrees here in Lafayette with the chance of an isolated thunderstorm for the afternoon. But before getting into that, we're going to have highs in the 80s, 83 for Monticello, also Winnemac and Rochester, 83 in Kokomo, 84 degrees down in Crawfordsville, and 85 down in Covington. Future cast shows Sunday morning where you have, we're going to actually stay dry dealing with mostly cloudy skies. We break up those clouds a little bit once we get to the lunch hour. This shows noon, and then we start to see those thunderstorms and showers pop up in the afternoon. This shows Sunday at 7, and then we'll break up a little bit, and then we'll start to have a dry overnight period even into Monday morning. But looking at the next seven days, we have lots of rain chances, a 30% chance for a thunderstorm with a high of 87 degrees. This is our warm up dealing with temperatures in the mid and upper 80s, 86 for a high on Tuesday with a chance of a thunderstorm. Thunderstorms stick around, I would say, all the way through Thursday. Once we get to Wednesday and Thursday, a cold front is going to move through and that's going to allow temperatures to drop a a lot, not that much actually, just in the lower 80s, 83 for a high Thursday, 82 for Friday, and then high pressure is going to move in. Finally, some high pressure and get a break from all the rain by Friday and Saturday. Well, they're looking dry right now.